All right, guys, today we're going to be putting an AFPR into the spider. Now, if you're not familiar with an AFPR, that's an adjustable fuel pressure regulator. Your fuel pressure regulator is located on the end of your fuel rail where I'm poking here. It's going to be underneath my strut tower, <coughs> strut tower brace bar. Now, I'm using a 10 millimeter wrench to pull off the two bolts that hold that on there. All right. Once those are loose, the next step is actually going to be to delete this solenoid here that's... Uh, connected to the stock FPR, it's no longer going to be needed, and we're going to reroute the vacuum line that runs through that into the intake manifold, directly into the intake manifold. Now I have this line teed off for my boost gauge, which was done by a previous owner. Uh, we're going to go ahead and keep that for now, but eventually we're going to reroute that to run off the throttle body. Alright, and skipping ahead here, I've removed the FPR. Now all you do once you get those two bolts off is kind of shake it back and forth and pull it out. You can see there's a, a little rubber seal on the end that holds it in there. And our new adapter is going to have the same seal. And it's going to slide in and you can reconnect it with the same bolts. Or I've purchased some stainless steel bolts at a hardware, hardware store. Um, once we're ready to pop that back in there, it's going to take an AN fitting on the end. And you can see here I removed the strut tower brace and later I'm going to pull off that timing cover as well. In, in order to get to everything I need to. And what I've done is I've bagged off the fuel line that was also connected to the FPR um, and then just wrapped some electrical tape around that. And that just keeps any fuel that's in the line from spilling around the end of bag. And there I just slid it in, made sure it was tight, and now I'm threading my stainless steel bolts. Here we're actually ready to, <clears throat> to connect the fuel line. And this is an AN fitting, it's a 6AN fitting. You can buy these end fittings in both 6AN and 8AN, um, but we only need a 6AN. I'm not going to run enough power to use an AN. AN line. Alright, so once that's threaded on there, then you'll run the other end of your line to the port on your AFPR. Here we're disconnecting that solenoid, and we will no longer need that. And what I'm pointing out here is just that the line runs from the fuel into the from the fuel rail into the intake manifold. Now this is an Evo 3 intake manifold, so yours may be in a slightly different position. The original plan was to take that bracket and then mount it in the corner here where that bracket was, uh, but that got knocked into our brake fluid reservoir here. So we're actually moving the connectors around and we're going to mount it back here where that ground wire is now and swap the ground wire over uh, to where another bracket was previously. So what I'm doing here, I'm using an old shirt to soak up all of the fuel that was in the regulator because we've already mounted it and set it. Um, but I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And now I'm just inserting the 6AN fittings on the opposite sides uh, in order to match where the new mount is going to be. All these parts came from Amazon, uh, with the exception of the fuel pressure regulator, which is available there, but I picked up used. Uh, so the gauge, the plugs, the MPT fitting, and the, uh, the push-on fitting on the bottom are all separate, so you have to buy those individually. And I'll provide some links to those in the blog article and in the description of the video. Thank you too. All right, now you'll see here I've used blue Teflon tape, which is gas rated. Um, and then the MPT fitting here, I believe I got at a hardware store. All right, here we're gonna fast forward to where we've got it mounted using a bent piece of aluminum to create a bracket. What you want to do is remove this vacuum hose and adjust this bolt on top to change the pressure. You need to loosen the nut and then turn it with an Allen wrench. And what you're going to do is adjust it until you get about 43 PSI. That's your base fuel pressure. Now, that can change for different cars or if you want to overrun your injectors, but that's factory for an eclipse. Once you're done, you'll reinsert that hose and it should drop down below given the vacuum reading. So after you're done setting the base pressure, don't forget to go back to that tightening nut and tighten it down so that it doesn't uh, shake loose. Remember that you need to depressurize the fuel system before you begin. We've got another video that will show you how to do that. We've also got another video that will show you how to make your fuel line. So thanks for watching guys. That's everything you need to know about installing an AFPR in a 2G Eclipse.